part one this dua also is like morning dua except that subh is replaced there asbahna is replaced there by amsayna and so on and yom is replaced by layla that's the only difference okay so let us uh, start this dua amsayna okay amsayna lillah but the words are joined together here amsayna wa amsal mulku lillah okay walhamdulillah so as i told you you can you know memorize these by you know on, on your fingertips use three fingers for the and each finger can be used for three items so first finger amsayna wa amsal mulku lillah walhamdulillah and the second part is la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la okay the second finger la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la and the third part lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir the third finger you have lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir you don't have to do it on finger it's not a sunnah but it's a tip for memorization you may do it or you may use any other method so let us translate amsayna asbahna we entered the morning amsayna we entered the evening so that's very simple amsayna we entered the evening okay wa amsal mulku and the kingdom entered the evening very simple al mulku is kingdom amsa means he entered the evening here who is that al mulku the kingdom the whole kingdom the whole universe entered the evening lillahi for allah lillahi means for allah walhamdulillah walhamdulillah and all praises and thanks are for allah let's take the message here we reach the evening with blessings and ease amsayna wa amsal mulku lillah consider all that could have happened during the day and lillah we belong to allah and in fact the entire kingdom be belongs to allah though it seems to us or it may seem to us that some men control a tiny part of this kingdom in times of unrest in a society we are especially worried about different things we must remember that the whole universe belongs to allah and no one can harm us without allah's will now we'll take the remaining part we have la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah and we studied this on everything is known to you la ilaha illallah there is no god illa means except illallah except allah wahdahu he is alone la is no la sharik no partner lahu to him okay lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu for him is the kingdom and for him is all the praise and thanks this is also known to you lahu is for him al mulku the kingdom wa lahu and for him al hamdu all praises and thanks lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir and he is ala means on kulli means every okay kulli means every and shay means thing kulli shay everything ala kulli shay everything qadir is all powerful and he is over everything all powerful analyze and memorize again i repeat you can memorize it by dividing this three lines into nine units you know one each so am sayna wa am sal mulku lillah walhamdulillah on the first finger then la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la and the third one lahu al mulku wa lahu al hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir now we'll take the remaining part rabbi as'aluka khayra ma fi hadhihi al layla wa khayra ma ba'daha wa a'udhu bika min sharri ma fi hadhihi al layla wa sharri ma ba'daha these two sentences are also symmetric you can see the symmetry there so the first part which is also similar to what we studied in the morning dua rabbi o oh my rabb as'alu ka can you show the tpi as'alu i ask ka you meaning allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as'alu ka i ask you what do i ask khaira the good ma of what fi is in hadhihi you see earlier it was hadha al yawm because yawm is masculine and laylatun this is a round ta at the end that's a sign and you can remember these signs like for you know girls names also sajid sajida shakir shakira hamid hamida okay the ending round ta is for feminine so here layla 
okay the night this is feminine so you cannot say hadha layla hadhihi laylati hadhihi is this for the feminine fi hadhihi laylati in this night wa khaira and the good ma of what ba'da after ha it because it is not ba'da who who is for rabbuhu rabbuha you remember that so ba'da who ba'da ha after it after her actually but we told you that arabic does not have neutral gender yom is masculine and layla is feminine so by ba'daha after her meaning after it so oh my rab as'aluka khaira ma fi hadhihi layla i ask you the good of what is in this night wa khaira ma ba'daha and the good of what is following it let's take the message here oh my rab i ask you all the good which may enrich my worldly life and the hereafter the good which is related to this world such as health safety blessings and similarly protection from trials miseries and illness and the good which is beneficial in the hereafter that which i can do tonight is like the establishment of obligatory prayers quran recitation and remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on after asking for allah we should also plan to do good things because we are asking khaira ma ba'daha khaira ma fi hadhihi al-layla wa khaira ma so plan for tonight and plan for what is part of this dua now we'll take the remaining part wa a'udhu bika min sharri ma fi hadhihi al-layla wa sharri ma ba'daha so that's the other side of it wa a'udhu i seek refuge bika in you min is from min sharri from the evil ma of what fi is in hadhihi is this al-layla fi hadhihi al-layla in this night wa sharri and the evil of ma of what ba'da after ha her or after it so i seek refuge a'udhu bika and i seek refuge in you min sharri from the evil of ma fi hadhihi al-layla of what is in this night wa sharri ma ba'daha and the evil of what is following it after it okay O oh my Rabb, I seek refuge in you from every evil, whether it harms me in this world, such as illness, worries, troubles, or the evil which causes a loss in the hereafter, such as negligence in worship or committing sins. And after asking Allah, we should plan to stay away from bad things, friends, and habits in this night and after it. Analyze and memorize. So we have two symmetric things. And in each we have khair khair and shar shar. So we have Rabbi as'aluka khaira ma fi hadhi al-layla wa khaira ma ba'da wa a'udhu bika min sharri ma fi hadhi al-layla wa sharri ma ba'da. Ending part. Rabbi a'udhu bika min al-kasali wa su'i al-kibar. Rabbi a'udhu bika min a'zabin fi al-nar wa a'zabin fi al-qabr. Rabbi a'udhu bika min al-kasali. Rabbi means, oh my Rabbi. Right? You a'udhu, I seek refuge. Bika in you. O oh Allah, min is from al kasal. Kasal means laziness. All right, kasal means laziness. Here it is, kasal, laziness. From min al kasal, from the laziness. Wa su il kibar. Su il kibar. Su means evil. Okay, kibar is old age. Su il kibar from the evil of the old age. Rabbi a'udhu bika min al-kasali wa su'i al-kibar. Oh my Lord, oh my Rabb, I seek refuge in you. I seek protection in you from the laziness and the evil of the old age. Let us take the first part. Rabbi a'udhu bika min al-kasali wa su'i al-kibar. Al-kasal, laziness, it is not doing righteous deeds, although Allah has given us the ability to do so. For example, offering prayer at home, in spite of having the convenience to go to masjid or not trying to gain knowledge of the Quran and Hadith despite having all facilities that is kasal and so il kibar one cannot do good deeds because of the trials of old age such as weakness of mind and loss of memory weakness of body organs and dependency on others for fulfilling the requirements and so on and there is a beautiful link between the two al kasal where you are young you can do it and if you don't do it, that is very bad. So Il Kibar, you want to do it, but you cannot do it in the old age. So here is the time when you are good and healthy, do it. That is the message also here. Old age is a big trial for the aged persons, but at the same time, it is the best opportunity for the relatives to earn Allah's pleasure by serving them and getting their du'as.
Let's take the last part. Rabbi a'udhu bika min adhabin fin nar wa adhabin fil qabr. All words are known to you. Rabbi, O oh my Rabb. A'udhu, I seek refuge. Bika, in you. Min is from. Adhab is punishment. Fin nar. It is not adhabin nar. Okay. Adhabin fin nar. Punishment in the fire. Okay. Wa adhabin and adhab and the punishment fil qabr. In the grave. Okay, so let us see what does that mean. Rabbi a'udhu bika min adhabin fin nar wa adhabin fil qabr. Our most important concern is to save ourselves from the punishment in the hell. That's why we are saying adhabin fin nar. Or in the grave. The heaven or the hell is the last stage of our journey and grave is the first stage. And we want protection from you know, punishment in both the stages. By the way, there is a difference between punishment of the fire, adab in nar, waqina adab in nar, you remember that, and punishment in the fire, mean adab in fin nar. In the hellfire, different people will be tortured in different ways because of different types of their sins. Astaghfirullah. People will be thrown upside down into the hell. Boiling water will be their drink, which will cut their intestines. Zakum, a thorny tree, will be their food. Then they will be dragged around in the fire. Chain will be placed in their necks and hot boiling water will be poured on their heads. Their skin will be continuously replaced every time it is burned out. Some will have their lips cut by scissors. Some will be resurrected as blind, deaf and dumb. You say, oh Allah, save us from all these punishments. Help us avoid the sins and give us tawfiq to do our best to do in this world. All the good things in the world. Let us practice. Analyze and memorize. So here there are two things and in under each of them you have two. Rabbi a'udhu bika min al-kasali wa su'il kibar. Rabbi a'udhu bika min adhabin fin nar wa adhabin fil qabr.